Are you interested in learning how to do basket weave when it comes to Tunisian? Well I got my special markers and I'm gonna show you how we arrange on getting the multiples so that you can change the size of your basket weaves for anything that you would like to do when it comes to Tunisian. Let me show you how that's done. Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. So in Tunisian what we have is that we have a basket weave and there's usually one stitch for one box. So let's just look at it from a box perspective. That's how you'll figure it out and just say this is gonna be one box and then the next box will be right beside it. So let me just zoom you in and take a look here and you have the next box and the next box and etc. So with these particular boxes you have to have the balance. So the first time that we go after this thing that we are going to go at it from uh, uh, a Tunisian knit stitch. So let's put TKS. Those are going to be worth a certain amount of stitches which we'll talk about. The next one box will be Tunisian purl stitch. Do you get it? So if that was that then the next box has to return back to TKS and then the next box would have to turn back to TPS. So you can see that you have four boxes here but what is the problem with that? If you decide that you want to have a multiple and it's gonna be equal balanced you're going to notice that one edge will have the knit stitch, the other edge will have the Tunisian purl stitch. So you have to have an odd number of boxes in order to work out your basket weave if you want balance. So what we have now is that you have to make these boxes worth a certain value in order to make that happen. So what you have to decide to do, in my case I decided that each one of these boxes is worth four stitches. So I put four, four, four and four. So that's what we have. We also have to factor in the point that when you do a multiple in this kind of uh, arrangement is that because there's an odd number there would be an odd number for the multiple. So in order to do one full repeat it would have to equal two boxes. Okay so you got your two boxes. So you end up with an odd box that's out. So what's the other thing about Tunisian that we have to factor in? We have to factor in that we have a starting loop on the one side and we also have the finishing loop on the other side. So can you tell me what the multiple is on this? And I'm just gonna uh, go through it anyway just for you to know. The multiple is the total number of these two pairs together. So it's this which gives you the number eight stitches. Then you put these and there's a number eight there as well. And then you have four all by itself. But before I write the number four by itself you have to consider that you have those four loops plus you have the outside of both of these here. So you have a total of four, five and six. So the multiple on something like this would be um, a total of eight chains plus six to give you the full balance. So let's do another box. Let's just say uh, for example we decide that we want the next uh, sample that we do we want it to be a total of six. So instead of four stitches we can say it's six. So we write down six, 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 six and six. We then want to look at the multiple again and we know that the repeat in order to do the pattern is in sets of two boxes. So we're gonna put this up and so we have the number 12. And this one up and then we have the number 12. And then we have the six by itself. So remember that this one box by itself is not just six but you have to add in your gutters, your, your beginning and your ending. So you have six, seven and eight. Okay, so th what this would be if you were to do it with this it'd be 12 chains plus eight. 
so 12 plus 8. That's how you would figure it out. So if you wanna change anything in the multiples of basket weave when it comes to Tunisian stitching, uh, this is how you'll do it and it actually makes a lot of sense. So you don't need to message me. Just figure out what your boxes are worth. Just know that there's two boxes together and then you'll have an odd box out. Now if you prefer that you don't want the balance then you can just uh, subtract the final box out of there but you would still have to factor in the beginning and the ending that you would have. So if you subtracted the final box here and say that you did not want to have balance in this case it'll be um, if we were just looking at the sixth one it would be 12 plus 1 and 2. If we eliminated that last box you would not have balance but that's what it worked. So if you didn't have the final box of this one what would it be? It would be 8 plus 1, 2. So 8 plus 2. Okay, that's how you figure out these multiples when it comes to working with basket weave and Tunisian.